Welcome to episode 26 when I was going to make a GTA 5 star game in Unity 3D. Today isn't really going to be much of a video. I'm just going to show you like where where to get models. Uh, I got these from the Google SketchUp warehouse. But there are places like Turbo Squid. Um, there's the Asset Store of course. They have quite a lot of different houses. And there are a few more that I can't think of from my head. But I will put them in the description. Uh, so I've just been placing these. I'm not quite finished yet so I'm just gonna I need to put that down there but what we're really gonna do is work on terrain so what we want to do I have uh, no I haven't never mind <laughs> what we want to do is create a terrain so right uh, sorry game objects creates 3d objects and then terrain or it might be under create other or it might be under terrain create terrain uh, so I'll just delete no there we go I'll just uh, Rid of that floor, and then uh, drag that in here. There we go. Okay, that's good. I'm not actually going to play around with any of the height because it's going to be quite a pain to change up the roads and everything. Um, so, do I have any textures? Grass textures. I have bark. That's probably not going to be particularly great. Got concrete. Uh, what else? That's it, really. Okay. So, I'm going to quickly put concrete on. So that, that looks terrible. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to actually do is go into the asset store and get the, um, the terrain assets. They're completely free. And there's quite a lot of stuff in there. There are also other places to get these things. Um, the asset store is really the best for things made for Unity. So yeah. Right, so if you search for terrain assets, there's gonna be two things that come up uh, that we need to get. Advanced terrain shaders and the terrain assets made by Unity. So let's download the terrain assets first. Uh, and just import them. I'll pause it while that works. Right, the uh, assets and the yeah, two assets are imported. So the terrain shaders are under ATS package, um, that folder. So if we just go into, I can find it. Hmm, can't seem to find it. It's not there. Found it. <laughs> it's under ATS package demo scene terrain unity terrain bump. So just drag that script onto your terrain, and there we have it. So what I'm going to do is replace my uh, concrete texture with the forest texture that comes with the uh, the package, and I'm going to set the tile to five, and then we just put in the uh, Forest normal, and then I'm going to add another texture, which will be this ground texture. I'll set that to five tall as well, and then normal map. There we go. Uh, right. So now we're going to add in trees. Also, I'm going to add a load more textures because the um, the terrain assets came with loads of textures, loads more textures. So yeah, I'm just gonna plop on a load. Let me just find the whole thing. Here it is. So I'm gonna add in path rocky. I did five again, and then I'm just gonna add four because we only have four slots for the bump maps. And then rock moss. So now I'm gonna duplicate there words duplicate. Oh my god, I can't duplicate. There we go. Uh, the two textures I added from the um, terrain assets, which is path rocky and rock moss, by just pressing Control D on it. Uh, so and then I'll just go normal, and then we want to go to um, 
it should be under advanced by default and then we want to go import type normal map from grayscale and then keep it sharp and bring it quite a bit down I've got it 0.008 and then do the same for the other textures uh, oh. there we go that's all good so I'll just flip them in there we go and there we go good so set to 555 spec keep that at zero and then terrain size what have we got that at 2000 okay Two oh oh two oh 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 rather. So if we play it, there should be normal maps in the terrain. There we go. You can just see the normal maps. It's good. Right, so I'm just gonna uh, make it a bit, make the tile a bit smaller for each one. So to two, two. Oh, so that might be better. Two. Um, and then what I'm going to do is paint uh, the rock path texture around the roads like that. Right. Currently mm on. -hmm. Okay. So there's that. So now let's plop in a load of trees by going into the tree tab which is next to the paintbrush tab. A tree, and then let's find some trees. Trees, trees. Uh, so. Which is. Trees. So now let's go mass place trees. Actually, no, I'm just going to paint a lot of them. Plopping down a load of trees, so like that, I suppose. Yeah. And then a load in here as well. There. Don't know why I'm whispering. Um, continue to plop a load along the roads.
There we go. There's a load of trees. Right, so I'm going to put a few more houses along here. Uh, put one there. Get the cottage and just pop it there ish. tree in the building. <laughs> okay then. So yeah. And then just a really long pointless road. Uh, right. Well, there's some more level design done. Uh, next week we'll probably, I don't know, we'll either continue on with level design. Actually, quickly, I'm just gonna change the tile for the this because it's not. Uh, balls. Didn't mean to do that. Can I do that? Let me just bring that down. I'm gonna have to repaint that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we'll continue on with the level development. I don't really know level development, level design. I don't really know what else there is to be done. Or we'll do vehicles. Start working on vehicles like cars, just cars, and then helicopters and jets later on. And then, uh, or rather. So three things, love design, vehicles, or day-night cycle. Where, where, where it's not just like go straight above that because that looks crap and pointless. I will have it so it's proper coordinates so it actually goes like properly. So the higher you are like latitude wise, the lower the sun becomes, that sort of thing. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.